So today I met a friend that I met yesterday for the first time in yesterday's social brunch, and we had a more in-depth conversation today when we met up, and I really enjoyed our chat. He pointed out something interesting because he watched um, my yesterday's video, and in that video I said that one of the tips for conversation was to ask why questions, like why did you choose to live there, or why did you choose that job? That kind of why questioning, which might lead to deeper conversation. But Eric, the guy that I just saw, said that he works in sales and why questioning is actually pretty dangerous sometimes because it can seem confrontational or they can get their guard up and say, why are you asking me that? So the who, what, where, when, why, how start of questions, out of all those, why is the one that you might have to taper back a bit and be cautious about because it can lead to potentially unpleasant feelings popping up. So that was an interesting tip that I, or feedback that I got from yesterday's tip that I learned. We also talked about working out. Eric's been working out for quite some time now and w within the last six months, he's gotten really serious about it. So he's working out five or six days every week. And me at most, I, in, in terms of working out every day, I've done it for two weeks max and then I guess I kind of burnt out or something. I just kind of put my foot off the gas. And so after the two weeks, I started working out maybe three, four days a week. And then I put my foot off the gas even more. And for example, this past week, I've only worked out once on Wednesday and it's already Sunday. So I was asking for some tips on how does he stay consistent because he didn't like working out at the beginning either. And Eric said that it was important to set a time every single day. So for him, it would be after lunch at noon, he takes his pre-workout drink at 1 and then at 1.30 he starts working out. And he does this without fail every single day or almost every single day, except for his rest days. James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, talks about this where you have to set a time location for the activity that you're trying to build the habit for. So I will change out into my workout clothes at 1.30 p.m. every single day, for example. So yeah, I already, I guess I knew this answer, but I didn't put it into practice, which is useless knowledge because you have the knowledge, but you're not applying it. So Eric reminded me of this really important point. I think I have to set two different times. One's for when I'm busy in the morning and can't work out in the morning versus times when I can work out in the morning. So when I'm not busy in the morning, I'll eat breakfast, go for a walk, and then work out as soon as I come back from my walk. And when I'm busy that morning and potentially the afternoon as well, then I have to set a time at something like five o'clock or something. That's gonna be the harder part because there's not gonna be an anchor where I'm doing one activity and then another one. But I think I should be able to figure it out just by trial and error, as long as I try. Anyways, Eric was encouraging me to work out and he said, Eric said, definitely make an effort to work out and it will eventually just be another daily routine like brushing teeth. Good luck. So that was some helpful tips and nice encouragement from Eric. Thank you, Eric. If you are watching this, I will try to put into practice what I learned from you today. Oh, also he eats chicken breasts, two chicken breasts daily. So one chicken breast for lunch and one chicken breast for dinner. That's something that I can do as well. He just does salt, pepper, and garlic powder, frying pan. It'll still be a little hard to work out while my dad's staying in my workout room. But once he leaves the end of this month, I have no more excuses and I'm gonna go hard core five or six days a week it's funny because Eric said in my video it's titled 1% better and I say 1% better every day he said working out just makes you 1% better every day so even if you do nothing else that day just working out that's 1% better every day which is how my videos actually started out other than going for walks it was trying to work out as well so yes working out will be part of my 1% better routine
It's one week before Christmas. I hope you got all your Christmas shopping done if you have to do any for your friends and family. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. 1% better every day, baby.